pass like moonlight on still water. It's so, when salt upon wounds took new Canaan, he ordered the white legs to salt the earth so nothing could grow again. What kind of monster could do that? I'll fight you if I must. I wish you could have met my family. You would like them, I think. Ladunane.
it is good to travel with another. I spend so long scouting on my own that I forget what human company is like. As you wish, I will wait, but please do not be gone long. You leave me no choice. Yeah. I walk in your footsteps. I wish you could have met my family. You would like them, I think.
If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. Katubiu. Battle is not my strongest skill, but I am eager to learn from you. How shall I fight? I will fight with my fist as best I can. I will try to follow your example. Hola, outsider. Welcome, child of omens. You come to receive visions of truth? Seek medicine plant. Return with sacred datura root. Receive visions of truth. They guide you. These roots make sacred vision tea. You drink, you see path before you. Ready? Drink. Tea is strong. Tea is bitter. Wisdom is strong. Wisdom is bitter. You see? You go to cave. Find ghost of she. Lay ghost to rest. This your quest. Bring peace where was strife. Go. Guide and protect us, your humble children, as we labor in the vineyards. And make us strong to resist those who would steal Zion from us. The river is lovely at this time of day, don't you think? We pass like moonlight on still water. I wish you could have met my family. 
You would like them, I think. You leave me no choice. I need a reload. You leave me no choice. My guns are empty. This is the ghost of She's lair. I was never brave enough to try to find it. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. Katubiu. As you wish, I will wait. Does Ghost of She like quiet in grave? Sad story, not for your ears from my lips. Ask midwife, she speak to your ears. Does ghost of she like quiet and grave? Then visions of truth are at an end. Will you learn from truth? Maybe yes, maybe no. Only for you to decide. Here, take, gift. To remind you of visions, 
use well or sell to cure your trader. Either way, it says much about you. Glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? Grand Staircase is farther east, deeper into the Colorado Plateau. The White Legs were able to reach us here, but it's only because Zion is close to the Long 15. They can't pursue us east of here. It's too wild. Throughout our history, we have called many places Zion. This valley is full of God's beauty, but it's just a place. Zion is more than this. We cannot use any and all means available just to protect stone and water and a piece of sky. We have to hold on to our faith. Far more enduring. If we sacrifice grace for a piece of land, we may live in this valley, but we will no longer dwell in Zion. It's better for us to leave now. If you could part with it, healing powder would be welcome. We have enough stim packs for now, but we can't rely on that small supply. Brock and Xander plants can be found throughout the valley, and you might even find some on white legs you come across. Ah, oh, that's great news. We can use anything you can offer. Your generosity is... Uh, well, I, I just can't thank you enough. What, um... What do you want to know, exactly? I'm sure she could tell you much better than I. Oh, well, that's true. Waking Cloud is a talented midwife. She certainly brought more children into the world than I have. But there are some problems she's never dealt with. One of them came up when she was having her third child, and I really didn't do much. I'm surprised she mentioned it. I did. Her three children are safe. They made it north weeks ago and met up with new Canaanites heading east. Her husband didn't make it. He died protecting their children from a white leg attack. Do not tell Waking Cloud. She is one of the only sorrows who can communicate easily with us, and her tribe needs her to be strong right now. To everything, there is a season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her now? I know, you're right. I shouldn't have hidden it from her in the first place. I just... We can't fail here again. Zion can't become the next new Canaan. The Sorrows don't deserve that. They don't deserve any of this. Sometimes I look at them and wonder if they would have been better off if those old trails had stayed forgotten. If we had never found any of them. <sighs> Tell Waking Cloud if you think that's best. I won't stop you. Until then.
I walk in your footsteps. Katubiu. That is a sad story. I do not like to tell it, but if you are asking, it must be at Whitebird's request. That I will honor. Long ago, a girl lived among this tribe. She was a curious child, and a clever one, and her mother had a devil's time watching over her. One day, the child slipped away from camp and went to play in the caves nearby. The girl did not know that a Yaogwai slept in that cave. The girl died. The tribe wept, for the girl had died before her naming day, and her ghost would remain restless and wandering upon the earth. Many hunters tried to kill the beast, but it eluded them or drove them off. The shaman said that since it had consumed the girl, the two were one. So we call the beast Ghost of She, for the child had no name to be called. That is the story of the Ghost of She. It is a sad story. It is our story. What? No. You must be mistaken. Daniel would have told me. How? How dare he? What gives him the right? I thought Daniel was my friend, but he cares nothing for the sorrows. Perhaps. I will have to have a very long talk with Daniel when all of this is over. Thank you for telling me this truth. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. I walk. White leg attacks grow more frequent each day. I fear for our people and for our lives if something is not done. Please. 
Please be respectful here. These are the bones of our ancestors. Feel better already. Ah. 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 Yao even our strongest hunters could not hope to kill so many. There must be a nest nearby. Fighting so many at once is a dangerous prospect, unless you are a truly mighty warrior. This many so close together suggests a nest nearby. If we find it and destroy it, we might have better luck. Did Daniel not give you some of the new Canaanites' fire clay? That could easily collapse a cave and trap the beasts inside. Look around and see if you can find a cave nearby. It may prove easier than slaying the beasts. I stand with you. As you wish.
know you are eager to leave Zion, but perhaps you might find peace if you stayed. Think about it, yes? I walk in your footsteps. Good job getting those supplies to Daniel. If you were a dead horse, you'd get a tattoo for that. Yeah? What did he say? He said that? Well, I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? I see. Well, thanks for your telling. I'd like a minute alone to think about this. Thank me. This is the only sure path from the Narrows to Pine Creek. They will be cut to ribbons by these traps. Disarm the traps if you can, or find the white legs who place them and drive them off. Our advanced scouts should be able to deal with them if they don't have to fight off raiders at the same time. As you say. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me.
Zion used to be a place of peace, you know. Daniel says that it is holy in the eyes of the Father. I hope someday you will see it as it was. If something of mine will help you, take it. White leg attacks grow more frequent each day. I fear for our people, and for our valley if something is not done. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me.
If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. Father, guide and protect us, your humble children, as we labor in the vineyards, and make us strong to resist those who would steal Zion from us. seen many strange plants in the valley. Plants that seem to hunger for human flesh. Where they come from, I do not know.
seen many strange plants in the valley. Plants that seem to hunger for human flesh. Where they come from, I do not know. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. Welcome back. Yes, take a look. Let me have a look. God be with you. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. Messy business. 
business. I am glad it's over. This one is mine. It is good to travel with another. I spend so long scouting on my own that I forget what human company is like. No choice. that seep into hunger for human flesh. Where they come from? From, I do not know. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me.
business. I am glad it's over. I'll fight you if I must. Plants in the valley. Plants that seem to hunger for human flesh. Where they come from, I do not know. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. You leave me no choice. That seems sensible. I'd prefer to let you choose the targets. not be here. This place, it belongs to the father in the caves. We must not profane it with our touch. The father in the caves, the holy father who gave the sorrows his succor and gave the new Canaanites his son. Many of the caves around the valley are sacred to him, and those who would trespass are punished by holy wrath. You speak as one who has not heard the tales, who has not seen the sacred images. If you knew, you would not mock. Father, I ask that you guide this man who is the vessel of your will. Show him the light of your wisdom and the peace of your life.
I wish you could have met my family. You would like them, I think. I'll give you room to work then. Daniel says that most people outside the valley do not keep to the Father's ways. Perhaps when you leave, you will carry his word with you. choice we with you this sword is mine I will do my best to stay close.
Those tents down there, that is a White Leg war camp. Do you see the war totems they've erected around the tents? White Leg warriors pray to them for strength and savagery before battle. This is no raiding band. You might rush them and take them by surprise. We would be badly outnumbered then, though, and these will be strong fighters. We might also use their superstition against them. White Leg warriors believe that to lose their totems on the eve of battle is a terrible omen. Yes, if their war totems were to disappear, they would likely lose the will to fight. I will follow your command, but I advise caution if it is possible. You leave me no choice. I have this under control. Daniel says that most people outside the valley do not keep to the Father's ways. Perhaps when you leave, you will carry his word with you. As you wish.
human flesh. Where they come from, I do not know. I walk in your footsteps. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked you into fighting the White Legs despite what I've said. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. Even our Lord had doubts. Think it over, but listen to your heart. And do it quickly. We don't have much time. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. to be you. If that is your wish, I cannot change your mind. I will wait for you at the Sorrows Camp until you return. Welcome back. What can I do for you?
cautious. Chihsuka, Tati. And so it was that the conflict between the New Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The Courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. With Daniel dead, the White Legs soon overran Zion and drove the sorrows and dead horses from the valley. The White Legs plundered all of the pre-war buildings the sorrows had marked off limits. Their squalor, an affront to Zion's natural beauty. By year's end, little trace remained that the sorrows had ever made the valley their home. Having revered Joshua Graham as a living legend for so many years, the dead horses found it difficult to accept his death. New Canaanite missionaries sought to remain in contact with the tribe, but lacking Joshua's authority, their influence dwindled. Still, as an expression of enduring respect for their lost spiritual leader, the dead horses helped protect the lands where new Canaanites settled. As generations passed, the dead horses came to worship a spirit of the land, a harsh spirit of divine justice. They called it Joshua. Already weakened by several seasons of bad trading, the Happy Trails Caravan Company was devastated by the failure of its expedition. The new Canaanites never re-established ties with the caravan. Their experiences with outsiders near the Great Salt Lake and in Zion had been far too negative. Within six months, the Happy Trails Caravan Company was bankrupted and dissolved. After a long and troubled life, Joshua Graham finally found rest in Zion. In the end, his unswerving militancy had accomplished what the NCR's finest sharpshooters and Caesar's wrath could not. The new Canaanites took comfort in the belief that their brother's soul would again dwell in Zion at the end of days. In the shadow of Daniel's death, those sorrows who survived the assault on Zion Valley mourned his loss, as was their custom. Word of Daniel's passing reached the new Canaanites several weeks later. They prayed that their brother would be well received by their lord. And with that, 
the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. I've read Mr. House's obituary. Had a high opinion of himself, didn't he? With Mr. House out of the way, I can focus on smoothing out a few lingering complications elsewhere in the Mojave. First up are the boomers of Nellis Air Force Base, a tribe so reclusive it lobs artillery shells at anyone who comes near their settlement. I want you to offer them an alliance with my legion. My terms are simple. Target their guns against the NCR side of the dam when I assault it, and they can keep their freedom. If you find they aren't amenable to this offer, destroy them. Even with the boomers to deal with, you have questions? The boomers settled at the old air base northeast of Vegas many years ago. No one knows exactly how long it's been. It may be that no one's traded with them or even spoken to them that entire time. If so, they're sitting on one hell of a stockpile of ammunition. My scouts have seen people moving around the base. The perimeter is guarded, with spotters in towers directing the artillery fire. They must have extraordinary vision. Some of my scouts were targeted at extreme distances. So no, I can't tell you what to expect inside the base. No one's been inside it, except them. What else, then? Good. Your first challenge will be to reach their settlement without getting blown up. After that, it should be easy. Was there more for us to discuss? Excellent. Had you simply killed them, the Omertas would have sent another group after Martina eventually. You've saved me the trouble of coming up with a more permanent solution. And Martina is free to go about her business as usual. Well done. I know the captain well. If you wish to be of service, go talk to him. Bear in mind that you are now responsible for guarding the secret of his true allegiance. If the NCR finds out, we'll know how that happened. Ah, yes. We are forbidden from speaking his true name. He was a shaman of some kind before he met Kaisar, a holy man from out of the Utah. The burned man proved dangerous, unpredictable and impossible to kill. He helped Kaisar form the Legion, but almost led it to destruction. Wale. The camps are getting crowded. 